Brace hustles back to the point, keeps it alive for Trevino. Down low to Hayes, back to Brace, couldn't pull the trigger, and now he does and scores from a very tight angle. And that is a tie game, one to one, with 13.55 to go in this second period. I think, Brandon, that the fact that he couldn't pull the trigger initially helped him out because Igor Bobkov had already committed and Brace kept moving forward a few more inches and that puck went off the post to go in the penalty to Derek Martin. James Henry crosses the blue line over far side. Trigger ripped, he scores! Ryan Hayes! He doesn't need much of an opportunity and he finds the back of the net right side on Bobkov who I think is going to feel he should have done better. Power play, goal thunder with the 2-1 lead. And he has now had a multi-point game in every contest against Utah this year. Lee, though, possesses it to the slot area. Oban to the far side. Fired. Save made. Lee, the rebound. Tried to stick it on the far side. It goes through the legs. Loose in the crease. And it's shuffled away to safety. Excellent job by the Thunder penalty killers. Grizzlies fourth in the West. Ahead of the Thunder by six points. But remember, it is winning percentage that decides the ultimate standings. Thunder control off the draw. Here's Keenan. Scores! Mike Keenan. A blast from the straightaway slot. And it only takes eight seconds of power play time for the Thunder to take a 3-2 lead. Yeah, what a blast there by Mike Keenan, who goes to show you he's not just a defensive defenseman. He has a cannon on him. We saw him at the Bulletproof Energy Drink skills and drills competition that he has an absolute cannon and he just walked to the top of the circles in the slot and blasted one past Bob Cobb to make the goaltender pay on his delay a game penalty 3-2 Thunder lead with 43.1 to go Michael Pellick giving final instructions over to his right about where he wants David Valerani Wetmore to take the draw for the Thunder he wins it Escobedo goes behind the net he ties it up and that does it the Stockton Thunder hang on for the 3-2 win. They get the game-winning goal in the final minute of regulation to send the home fans home happy. Obviously another physical game between these teams and another close one. Yeah, a close game. I mean, not not a lot of real quality chances either way throughout the game. I thought that, uh, you know, the compete level was there. I think that obviously with all the... The altercations in the game, it took a lot of the flow away, away from the game, and, and uh, that's the way it's going to be. It's playoff hockey right now. Anything? Or I was just going to ask you about the offense. I know recently like it seemed to be showing. Today it seemed very fluid. I know it's hard to be fluid when all the scrum is going on and all that, but what did you think of the offense tonight? I thought it was good. I thought our power play uh, clicked for us, and that was huge. We needed it to, to pay some dividends for us tonight, and, and it did. It helped us win a hockey game. Um, yeah, I mean, two of your goals were, were on power plays, obviously, and just Hayes, I mean, you know, even before that tip, he, you know. Yeah, he made a, well, he made a couple of great plays uh, early in the game. He put Tri Trevino in on a, uh, that uh, kind of spin around forehand pass through the neutral zone and sent him in on a breakaway. It was a great play, and, uh, you know, offensively, uh, he's very, very dangerous for us all the time, and he worked hard on both ends of the rink, and I thought he played a pretty complete game for us tonight. Um, what about the game? I mean, obviously, some of those calls were questionable, but some of them, some of them was just things getting a little. Well, it's just uh, you know, at the end, when, whenever there's a, a scrum at your net like that, and all the defensemen come into the net, and, and all five players are, are collapsed around the net in the middle of the battle, faceoff is supposed to come outside, and there's two in a row that were, the faceoffs were kept inside our zone. The last one in particular, three seconds left, still time for them to win a faceoff and score a goal. That faceoff should have come outside. So there's things like that that is little things. It's not just the referees' calls. It's it's uh, what's going on with the linesman as well. I mean, Keenan puts that puck off off a stick and he gets a penalty on on that. And it was clearly from our bench off a stick.